Hello everyone, this is Brinegar. This is my black worm and Daphnia culturing setup. Now right in the center I put the clippings from my aquatic plants in this jar along with one pond snail that wound up in my tank obviously hitched a ride on some plants I purchased and since they are hmm, hermaphroditic that snail proceeded to lay fertile eggs and now I have several pond snails there's one and I've also placed the java moss in here and it seems to do better in this little jar with some sunlight now I just did a water change in this jar and this jar and the water that I added from apple juice jugs which I keep in the backyard with socks over the lip of the jar does not appear to be greening up very well so I'm not culturing infusorians as I'd like however in this jar you can see that the blackworms are doing quite well on brown paper now I used to add a little bit of fish food to my blackworm cultures and it does make them reproduce quite well however you wind up with so much waste it becomes necessary to change the water practically daily so I've cut back on that and I just simply offer these as a treat on occasion to my fish because they are quite high in fat and whenever worms begin to crawl up the sides of the glass I know it's time to do a water change but that only occurs probably once every few weeks but I do do water changes on these periodically and use filter floss to scrape the algae off of the glass now here we have the remains of a marimo moss ball that kind of fell apart after I put it in my 75 gallon I'm not sure if the true Siamese tended to root in it or destroy it but it's basically fallen apart the moss appears to have survived, but it's not in a nice ball the way it's supposed to be. It's actually a type of algae, but they are called marimo moss balls. So there are a few Daphnia hanging on, but I'd like to show you something I'm trying in order to increase my infusorian production for the Daphnia and hopefully we'll be able to add that to some of these jars in the near future and get an explosion of live food for my fish. Here is what I have done with a couple of the apple juice jugs. I've taken the socks and just spread them over to hold these airlines in place and I'm keeping the water aerated with air stones and I put the air pump in this margarine container hopefully keep it from being destroyed by the rain 
And down here, I have the jars with the socks over the lip to prevent mosquitoes from propagating in what was supposed to be infusorian cultures. But unfortunately, this appears to create anaerobic conditions where infusorians don't tend to culture, but I get lots of algae on the plastic of these apple juice jugs. So I've just added this aeration to a couple of the infusorian cultures about a week ago and I'm waiting to see if this will green up nicely and then I'll have lots of infusorians to feed to my Daphnia.